We're here today to recap the first half of the season. I'm joined by our captain, Jack Hutchins, in the heat strip warm up zone. Keep it nice and warm under these heat strip portable heaters. Thanks for having me, Twig. How have you seen the season so far? Heat strip hot or just warm? Just warm at this stage, Jack. I've been very pleased with a lot of the, our performances. Played some good opposition, played some really good games where we've looked like the way we want to look, and also at times have been inconsistent. So, a fair bit of work to do at this stage, but we're tracking okay. We've had some good wins in the last few weeks, Jack, and you returned in the most recent game against Collingwood. From a player's perspective, what's pleased you with the team's performance? You're right, mate. It was a good uh, win against the Pies. Um, I think so far the, the most pleasing thing has been our ability to, to uh, I guess, impact the contest, win the contest, um, outnumber at those contests and be a hard team to play against. Um, and we've seen some really spirited um, efforts um, to get around each other as players and um, I think we're starting to form a really uh, strong group coming forward. Who from the uh, Melbourne boys has impressed you this year, Twig? Yeah, I'd say Cameron Patterson has been our standout performer for 2018. Uh, whilst he clearly wants to be playing AFL footy and did against Collingwood, uh, his performances with Casey up to then have been outstanding, whether it be in the ruck or down forward. We're really pleased with Charlie Spargo at the start of the year. He played a couple of games and was elevated into the AFL. Uh, Billy Stretch has come back and had a really good month of form. Been really pleased with Harrison Petty's development down back along with Declan Kildy. And Sam Wedham has just come back and started to play with us as well. So we've been quite pleased with a lot of the Melbourne List contribution and now jobs to really be able to provide them uh, the opportunity to improve, to be in the form to be able to stack up at AFL level. Out of this year's crop, mate, who do you think um, has that potential to sort of take their game to the next level? Yeah, Casey program over the last few years has been able to provide a number of players on AFL lists. I think this year we should be able to have a couple of players in contention to be drafted. I think that young Mitch Lewis has shown enough improvement to be considered I'm for an AFL list. I think Jay Lockhart from North Launceston's had a terrific year. And Corey Wagner, who's come off the North Melbourne list, has demonstrated a lot of skills that are definitely of AFL quality. I like Goy Lock. I think Goy's got traits as well. A lot of just speculative thoughts there at the moment, but the second half of the year will certainly make or break a lot of the guys' uh, future decisions for AFL. We're nine games into the season, and we've played a number of finals teams, or top eight teams as it is at the moment. Who do you think are the teams that will challenge to be in the finals later in the season? The competition this stage is um, is quite um, quite even at the moment. Um, we've had some tough games come through, um, so I think any any team at the moment can win on their given day. Um, if I was to pick a few, probably uh, probably Box Hill um, and Richmond are probably the, the two teams that are standing out so far. Um, and a lot, and then you can't sort of count out the um, teams that sort of Port Melbourne, Collingwood as well, um, lists that are sort of really going to go strong and propel throughout the year. What do you think we need to do, Twig, to uh, I guess to set ourselves up for the for the second half of the year? Yeah, the second half of the year presents real opportunity for us. With of our nine games, six of them are at home, so we had a pretty tough run away from home in the first half of the season. But we also play a lot of teams in and around us on the fight with uh, top eight in Box Hill. We play Geelong, uh, we play Williamstown again. So we've, we've got some really challenging opponents. Very much a week to week proposition, but I think our training will be the real key as to how we prepare ourselves each week and prepare for which opponent we have upcoming, and then deal with that, hopefully perform and then move on to the next one. Jack, thanks for joining me in the toasty warm heat strip warm up zone. If the viewers at home are interested in purchasing a stylish gas, electric or portable heat strip heater, go to the website heatstrip.com.au.